A Tennessee Tech and UT alum is still stuck in space. Butch Wilmore has been in space since June 5th. That was 82 days ago. He was supposed to be on an eight day mission with fellow astronaut who was on board with him. Since then, they can't get him home. It's all because of those Boeing Starliner problems that we've been reporting about. They've been waiting at the International Space Station and they're extending that stay another six months. This all comes as SpaceX will bring them home and it is now gearing up for a mission that includes a first for a private space flight. NBC's Marissa Pereira has the details. Dragon, SpaceX. SpaceX is suiting up for two key missions. The most critical, bringing home astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. The pair was only supposed to be on the International Space Station for about a week. They will now remain in space for nearly nine months. The Boeing Starliner spacecraft that brought them to space set to return home without them because of a number of technical issues, including helium leaks and issues with the craft's thrusters, vital for re-entry. Boeing writing in a statement, we continue to focus first and foremost on the safety of the crew and spacecraft. Welcome to our simulator. Back on Earth, the SpaceX Polaris Dawn team is on the eve of making history. Together, the private four-person crew will travel 870 miles above Earth, the highest humans have gone since the last moon mission over 50 years ago. You guys you excited to get, get out of here? Coda and Savannah sat down with the Polaris Dawn crew back in May. You're going to be outside of the spacecraft walking around for a couple of hours. The background is training the astronauts across all of our Dragon missions, and now I have an opportunity with this crew to go and test out a brand new spacesuit and really expand the capabilities of Dragon. Sarah Gillis is one of the two who will perform the first ever commercial spacewalk, expected to last about two hours. An ambitious move that former shuttle commander Eileen Collins says comes with risks. When you go outside, you are exposing yourself to some small orbital debris, like little pieces of dust that go zinging around. But for Dragon Commander Jared Isaacman, that risk is worth the rewards. Being a fly on the wall to the, to the history that SpaceX is making is just as good as flying the mission itself. And you can read more about that East Tennessee astronaut and graduate of the University of Tennessee, as well as the Boeing Starliner right now at WBIR.com.